information, we ask you to use either the NYPD tip line at 1-800-577-TIPS or submit a tip on our website at www.fbi.gov. It is vitally important that we do not inadvertently disclose information that inform the subjects. Inform the subjects. I think the public understands the need for that level of operational security, and for that reason, I do not expect to answer specific questions on how much and what we Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Our Commissioner Nagro is going to give you an update on those injured last night. Thank you. Last night was a uh, extremely well coordinated response to that attack, and our uh, our members of the fire department was able to identify, treat, and transport 29 people quickly. I'm happy to say that as of this morning, all 29 injured people have been released from the hospital, and that's very good news. The fire department, along with the building department, also examined the buildings that were damaged in the explosion and found them to be structurally stable. There was no structural damage. And uh, again, that's good news. You'll hear a little from Chief Gomez about how, they'll, how this department is prepared moving forward. Um, and the fire department is certainly as prepared. Chief Leonard and I coordinating um, our people on the ground to support that effort. So that's the news from right now. Thanks, Commissioner Nigro. Uh, Chief Gomez is now going to give you an update on what's going on throughout the city right now. Awesome. Good afternoon. Uh, today there are several uh, special events occurring uh, throughout the city, actually, in, in all five boroughs. Uh, we've increased our uh, police presence in each of these uh, events. We've added more officers to it. We've also added more uh, counterterrorism 